What up? It's your boy Shukin and you want to get to want to get on me and today I got another CGC unboxing for you fools eh? And I haven't done one of these unboxings for you fools in a minute days eh? because CGC they've been lagging their way to return my books eh? Because I guess they're like super busy right now, but I ain't really tripping eh? as long as they hook me up with good grades way eh? and <laughs> take all the time you want way eh? So uh, yeah, man, I actually have uh, three books in these boxes eh? I think this on the bottom one There's one and then on top one there's two of them which uh, the one that only has one book in it It's like one of those it's one of my personal of grails eh, that I've been wanting to add to my collection for a minute way and I'm just hoping it's a good grade good decent grade you know I'm not no, I'm not expecting no 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 9a you know no 96 way I just I'm just have my fingers crossed way so uh yeah man if you guys are new to the channel or you guys ain't familiar with CGC is for me well let me break it down to you fools really quick eh? CGC is a third party um grading company way where you pretty much uh, submit your Pokemon cards now or your uh comic books way so when you submit your comic books they actually put it into this slab right here and pretty much the, on this top label right here, they give you like information of what issue it is. Like for example, right here, they'll say like Thor 337. And then on the left side, they'll write down like if there's any major appearances, like the first appearance, like for example, on this Thor book, there's the first full appearance of um, Better Ray Bill. And over here, they give you like the grade or whatever. So when it comes to modern books, say, you're always trying to shoot for any book, way. You're trying to shoot for like a 9, 8 or higher, way. But when it comes to like Silver Age books and like Golden Age uh, books, it's kind of a little bit difficult because back in the day, people didn't take care of their books like they do now with, with the books, and, with the bags and boards or whatever, eh? But uh, yeah, man, I really recommend you guys submit um, like any key issues you guys have to CGC, way. I know there's a lot of other companies out there like PGA, CB, whatever, but I only deal with CGC and so far I never had an issue with CGC. CGC, man. I love their slab, how it looks. I like how the, the label up here looks too, way. Eh? And three reasons why you should submit your comic books to, uh, to get graded, eh? First of all, because the value of a graded comic book compared to a raw book, it's a, it, there's a big gap. There's a big gap difference, way. Like, for example, like this book right here on Go Collect, fair market value, it says it's going for 260 And a raw copy of a Thor 3... 37 is probably like around like 100 120 or whatever and second of all uh it makes a good display piece and third of all it gives you like more protection on the book itself instead of you putting it in your long box or short box or whatever you know and i don't know it just, it just looks dope eh? having this slab around a uh a comic book way it just gives it that little extra little spice way look at this beauty sick eh? so uh yeah enough of that talking eh? now let's get into these books way so uh first i want to unbox um the one that has two slabs in it and then my little personal grill I'll, I'll do it in to the end so you guys are interested in submitting uh, comic books to CGC, you guys have any questions about CGC or how to submit or anything, wait, don't hesitate to uh, send me a message, wait, through IG or whatever, I'll help you out, wait, as best as I can or whatever so um, when you open this uh, package, wait, this is what you're gonna see Bunch of bubble wrap, eh? They know how, how to ship your comic books, way. <sighs> so this one has two, right? Yeah, this one has two. Come on, baby Jesus, way. And by the way, all these three books, they're all gonna be DC comic books, way. So here goes the first one, eh? Hopefully, baby Jesus <laughs> hooks your boy up, way, with some good grades. So uh, here goes nothing. One, two, three, boom what it is okay this oh i already seen it way it's a 9.6 dash friday that ain't bad eh? this is a batman and robin issue number 10 and there's actually the recall edition a eh, where on the book you can actually see like the cuss words you can't really see it that much a eh, but you could tell where it says like the f word or whatever way so i just had to submit it nothing too crazy a eh, but it's still and there's actually the quietly uh variant which i know there's a jim lee one and um what is it, Jim Lee and um, Frank Miller cover? But uh, this one is pretty dope. It's a 9.6. I'll take it eh, any day. Look at that beauty. Dope, dope. So here goes the second one, way. Hook your boy up, baby Jesus. Come on, way. One, two, three. What it is, what it is. Did you guys see it? That's right. 
is uh, Batman Beyond issue number two, which is actually uh, the second appearance of Terry McGinnis in a comic book, eh? And actually the first time uh, him rocking the actual Batman Beyond suit, way. So you know what? I had to get issue number two, which I already have issue number six, and I have issue number one coming in, way. The first full appearance of Terry McGinnis in a comic book. Uh, cameo of um, Black 2, way. So it's a pretty cool issue. So let's see what comic book did I, what grade did I get? What? Oh! 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 I got a nine, eh? No way. <laughs> oh, a hey, four. I looked at this book and I was like, oh, I was looking at it and I was like, nah, this, this book's like, pot. I was, I was like, it's probably like a 9.6, eh? But a 9, eh? Dope, eh? I don't know. That, that fool at CGC was probably having a good a good day, wait, because I see like a couple ticks, but nothing too crazy. I think he just said a child is... Let, let that fool uh, slide, wait. Oh, thank you. That's right, eh? I got a 9, eh? I wasn't expecting a 9, eight on this one, but, hey, I'll take it. I can't wait to get my Batman Beyond one, issue number one. I'm hopefully, hopefully I get like a 9.6 on that one. Because that one was pretty bad by the barcode. But I did uh, send that one to get a press too. So, we'll see what grade I get. So now, the third book, eh? Which, this one, I'm super happy for it, eh? This is, a, this is my little personal grill right here, eh? Which, I've been waiting for this for, I think, like, it's been like three months, eh? To get it back. And today's finally the day, eh? Baby Jesus. So when you open it, this is what you're gonna see. Should I tell you what book it is? Nah, not yet. We'll just, I'll just show it to you guys and you guys will see it, what book I'm talking about. One, two, three, boom. That's right, homie. The first appearance of John Stewart, eh? One of my favorite uh, Green Lanterns, homie. Him and Howard Jordan, my favorite Green Lantern, way. Eh? But you know what? I had to get this book, homie. Some uh, Neil Adams goodness right here, way. Look at this beauty. And the book itself, way, is a good read, way. Check it out, way. Ah, don't come on, baby Jesus. What I get? Am I gonna like it? Oh no! Nine point six, but it's all right, way. You know, it's still one of my low personal. No, it's all right. It's all right. I ain't tripping. I, uh, I mean, six point five. It's all right. It wasn't what I expected. I was shooting for like a seven, seven point, uh, seven point five, eh? But uh, it's all right. I ain't tripping. It's a uh, off-white to white pages, eh? The first appearance of uh, John Stewart, baby. It's a beautiful cover too. It's kind of torn right there on the edge. I think that's the reason why it got like a low grade. But I ain't tripping, eh? I've been wanting to add this book, homie, to my PC way for a while, way. Now that I have it, way, I'm happy, way. You know, it might not be the grade that I want, eh? But shout out to Very Gary Comics, homie. That's why I should always say, you gotta start off somewhere, right? So, you know what? I gotta start off at 6.5 and eventually I'll move up to like an 8.5 way. Cause that's pretty much the grade that I'm shooting for in this issue, way. 8.5 or 9 way, you know? Cause once you get to like the 9.8, you're talking about thousands the dollar way like i ain't balling like that way but uh yeah man um if you guys enjoy these uh videos on me and you guys want me to do more cgc unboxings way well hit that like way and if you guys have any questions on me about submitting to cgc once again don't hesitate to ask me on ig way at streak underscore 89er way and uh streak 89er out play yeah